This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Thursday of the sixth week of Easter. Today's reflection is entitled, Deepening Your Understanding. So some of his disciples said to one another, What does this mean that he is saying to us, A little while and you will not see me, and again, a little while and you will see me, and because I am going to the Father. So they said, What is this little while of which he speaks? We do not know what he means. How about you? Do you know what Jesus means? Or do you find that you are confused by what he said, just like these disciples were? Though pride may tempt you to claim that you fully understand all that Jesus taught, the humble and honest truth is that you are probably very much like these disciples in their confusion. And that is not necessarily a bad place to be. First, the confusion of these disciples shows that they took Jesus seriously. They were not indifferent. They cared, were interested, wanted to understand, and must have had some level of faith in Jesus. Otherwise, they would have ignored him, but they didn't. They listened, tried to understand, discussed his teaching, thought about his words, and humbly concluded that they didn't understand. Jesus is not critical of their confusion. He sees that they are trying and that they have some level of faith. And even though these disciples are confused, Jesus continues to speak to them in figures of speech rather than directly and clearly. One of the reasons that Jesus speaks in figurative language is because the message that he is teaching is profound and deep. It's not something that can be quickly and easily understood and mastered. The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven are so deep, vast, profound and mystical that the only way to begin to understand them is to first have faith. Faith does not mean you fully understand everything. Faith is a supernatural gift by which you come to believe without fully seeing and understanding. The certainty comes from God, not from your own reasoning ability. But faith always leads to deeper understanding. Therefore, as these disciples professed their faith, they also came to understand. And even though Jesus speaks in this figurative way, these disciples ultimately made the choice to believe. Later in this chapter, they conclude, Now we realize that You know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. If you find yourself confused about various matters of faith, God, morality, and the like, or if you find yourself confused about the various mysteries of life itself or your life in particular, Do not be afraid to admit to this confusion. Admitting confusion is the humble admittance of the truth, and this humility will be a helpful step toward the gift of faith. Reflect today upon whether you struggle at all with indifference toward the mysteries of life. If so, commit yourself to be more like these disciples who intentionally grappled with all that Jesus spoke. Do not be afraid to admit your confusion and to place that confusion before our Lord. Strive to have the gift of faith and allow that spark of faith to become the pathway for your deeper understanding of the many mysteries of life. Let us pray. My mysterious Lord, 
You and all the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven are so deep and profound that no one will ever fully comprehend their depth, breadth, and beauty. Please open my mind, dear Lord, to a deeper understanding of you so that I may profess my faith in you and in all that you have chosen to reveal. I do believe, my God. Help my unbelief. Jesus, I trust in you. <laughs> 